Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Throughout all of history, there have been tales of people who could foretell the future. And yet many of these people have very little to do with the teachings of the God we have been reading about. Today most people see this as a bit of humour in their newspaper. However, I wonder how God sees these people. We read the Deuteronomy chapter 13 today. Let us open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. Those who ask that as people hear your word, they come to better understanding of you. Amen. If a prophet or a dream a dream arises among you, and he gives you a sign or a wonder, and the sign or the wonder comes to pass of which he spoke to you, saying, Let us go after other gods, which you have not known, and let us serve them, you shall not listen to words of that prophet, or to that dream of dreams. For Yahweh your God is testing you to know whether you love Yahweh your God with all your heart or with all your soul. You shall walk after Yahweh your God, hear him, keep his commandments, and obey his voice, and you shall serve him and cling to him. That prophet or that dream of dreams shall be put to death because he has spoken rebellion against Yahweh your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I redeemed you out of the house of bondage, to draw you aside of the way which Yahweh your God commanded you to walk in, so you shall remove the evil from among you. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son or your daughter, or the wife of your bosom, or your friend, who is as your own soul, entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods which you have not known, you, nor your fathers, or the gods of the people who are around you, near to you, or far off from you, from the one end of the earth, and even to the other end of the earth, you shall not agree to him, nor listen to him, neither shall your eye pity him, neither shall you spare, neither shall you conceal him, but you shall surely kill him. Your hand shall be first on him to put him to death, and afterwards the hands of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he has sought to draw you away from Yahweh your God, who you brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. All Israel shall hear and fear, I shall not do any more wickedness like this among you. If you shall hear about one of your cities, which Yahweh your God gives you to dwell there, that certain base fellows have gone out from among you, and have drawn away the inhabitants of their city, saying, let us go and serve other gods, which you have not known. You shall inquire, make search, and ask carefully. Observe, if it is true, and a thing certain, that such abomination was done among you, you shall surely strike the inhabitants of that city with the edge of the sword, destroying it utterly. With all that is therein, and its livestock, with the edge of the sword, you shall gather all its plunder into the middle of its street, and shall burn with fire the city, and every bit of its plunder, to Yahweh your God, it shall be a heap forever, it shall not be built again, nothing of the devoted thing that shall cling to your hand, that Yahweh may turn from the fierceness of his anger, and show you mercy, and have compassion on you, and multiply you, as he has sworn to your fathers, when you listen to Yahweh your God's voice, to keep all his commandments, which I command you today, to do that which is right in your way of God's eyes.